because you think that God is not answering my prayers. The question is, did you give God your body? The question is, did you give God your finances? I pray that God help us realign everything in our lives so we can walk in a way that really gives him access to every part of our life so that even every root, every foundation, everything in our lives is aligned with God's will and God's purpose so we can experience victory for real, for real in Jesus' name. The Bible tells us, hallelujah, that there is no other foundation laid which is but, but the foundation that he laid himself, which is Jesus Christ. Even the Apostle Paul says, I have set the foundation. I have taught you about the foundation. And today for the month of June and the rest of the year, we are laying the proper foundation. Many of us, we are so used to the things of God, so used to church staff and we pray and so on. But you know what? How much of those things we do automatically with us? If anyone builds with gold, with silver with precious stones. And you know what? All these things are good. But if Jesus is in it, they're all breakable. They're all destroyable. The Bible says, and as we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, that every foundation will be tested. And I'm ending there. Hallelujah. Every foundation will be, will be tested. Sometimes the tribulations we go through are just testing your foundation. Testing your standing. Testing where you stand with God. Where you stand with the truth. Hallelujah. I pray that you are built on such a solid foundation. On God himself. That when tests come, you don't give in. You don't give up. You don't flake. You don't faint. But you remain standing. Because when you build on Jesus, he builds in you the capacity to withstand the rain, the winds, and everything that can come in between. One prayer I would like us to pray before we leave this place is that God will build you up. That God will build you up. That any foundation, any foundational thing you have into your life, anything you build on, everything you desire, every dream, you know that you, every, every, every good thing, every tangible thing starts with an idea, starts with a dream, with a desire, with a hope, with a wish, hallelujah. I pray that even from the, the just a small germ or germination of your dream, of your desire, of your, your, your prayer, from there, God builds strength, builds capacity. So that as you continue to desire this, I just want to let you people of God, as much as we desire big things, you will be tested for it. You'll be tried for it. You desire spiritual awareness, you'll be tested. You desire stronger relationships, you'll be tested. Hallelujah. You desire a... a, 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 a progress into your life, you'll be tested. You desire to, to start a business, you'll be tested. Every foundation must be tested. But I pray that your spiritual foundation, that your Christianity, that your relationship with God, when tested, even by fire, that you are proved to be strong and unbreakable in Jesus' name. That is my prayer. That is my desire. And if you forget everything I said today because it did not make sense, I just want you to remember that I pray that in every test, you don't fail, you don't faint, you don't break, you don't lose, but you remain standing by God's grace in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.